Henri Cartier-Bresson began his journey into street photography in the early 1930s, shortly after he acquired his first camera. However, it wasn't until around 1932 to 1933 that he fully immersed himself in the genre. During this time, he was inspired by the work of other photographers such as Jürgen Niachet and Ander Kirch, as well as the Surrealist movement. Overall, Cartier-Bresson's photography was influenced by a combination of artistic movements, philosophical ideas, personal experiences, and his commitment to documenting the world around him. His early experiments with street photography coincided with his travels to various European cities, including Paris, Madrid, and Barcelona. He roamed the streets, capturing candid moments of everyday life with his Leica camera, which allowed him to work quickly and discreetly. By photographing a wide range of scenes in Paris throughout his career, reflecting the city's diverse and vibrant character, his images often feature people going about their daily routines, providing a glimpse into the rhythm and energy of Parisian life. He also focused on Paris's famous landmarks and architectural wonders. Whether it was the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, or the winding streets of Montmartre, he had a knack for capturing the city's iconic sights from unique perspectives. Another scene he truly enjoyed documenting was Paris's café culture is a recurring theme in Cartier-Bresson's work. He often photographed people gathered at outdoor cafés, sipping coffee, conversing with friends, or simply watching the world go by. These images capture the essence of Parisian social life and its intimate connection to public spaces. Cartier-Bresson coined the term, the decisive moment, to describe the essence of his photographic philosophy. Deeply influenced by his background in surrealism, his admiration for painting and literature, and his experiences as a photojournalist, he saw photography not just as a means of documenting reality, but as a form of visual storytelling that could convey the poetry and drama of everyday life. The concept of the decisive moment has had a significant influence on photography, encouraging photographers to be patient, attentive, and intuitive in order to capture moments of significance in the flux of life. It underscores the idea that photography is not just about technical skill or aesthetic composition, but also about capturing the fleeting essence of human experience. His most famous photograph is often considered to be behind the Gare Saint-Lazare, Paris, 1932. In this iconic image, a man is captured mid-leap over a puddle, with his reflection appearing in the water below. The composition is remarkable for its perfect timing, capturing the moment when the man's foot hovers just above the water's surface. This photograph exemplifies Cartier-Bresson's concept of the decisive moment, where he believed that photography could freeze a fleeting moment in time that encapsulates the essence of a situation or event. While behind the Gara saint Lazare is perhaps his most famous photograph, Cartier-Bresson's body of work is vast and encompasses a wide range of subjects and themes. He was a prolific photographer who documented significant events and social issues around the world, leaving behind a rich legacy of images that continue to inspire and resonate with audiences today. Cartier-Bresson's influence extends far beyond his own time. His work continues to inspire photographers around the world and his ideas about photography, particularly the concept of the decisive moment, remain central to the practice of the art form. He left behind a rich legacy of images that capture the beauty, complexity, and humanity of the world around us. When you think of raw, gritty, and often confrontational aesthetic, only one person comes to mind. Japan's finest Daido Moriyama, renowned for his black and white street photography, which captures the frenetic energy and complexity of urban life. 
Moriyama's images are often high contrast and grainy, embracing imperfections in his prints and reflecting his interest in the raw immediacy of the moment. Rather than polished perfection is what separates Moriyama from the rest. His photographs often depict scenes of everyday life in cities, focusing on the mundane, the chaotic, and the overlooked aspects of urban existence. Through his lens, Moriyama often explores themes of alienation, desire, and the passage of time, hence reflecting both the chaos and beauty found in modern society. He embraces chance and experimentation in his photographic process. By frequently employing unconventional techniques, such as shooting from unusual angles or deliberately blurring the images to create a sense of disorientation and mystery. With a deep curiosity about the world, a drive to push artistic boundaries and a commitment to social commentary, his motivations are fueled by his relentless pursuit of photography as a medium for exploring, interpreting and understanding the complexities of modern life. The acclaimed Japanese photographer known for his gritty black and white street photography was born in Ikeda, Osaka, Japan in 1938. His upbringing was marked by the post-war period in Japan, which greatly influenced his artistic vision. Growing up in this era, Moriyama experienced the rapid urbanization and societal changes that characterized Japan's recovery and modernization. His interest in photography began at a young age and he initially pursued a career as a graphic designer before transitioning to photography full-time in the late 1950s. His early exposure to the bustling streets of post-war Japan and its evolving cultural landscape heavily influenced his photographic style, which often captures the raw energy and contradictions of urban life. His influence extends beyond photography, contributing to broader discussions about Japanese identity and culture. Daido Moriyama's most famous and iconic photographs is Stray Dog, 1971. This image exemplifies many elements of Moriyama's style and vision. Stray Dog depicts a solitary dog wandering the streets of Tokyo, captured in a moment of motion with its head turned away from the camera. This photograph is characterized by its high contrast, grainy texture, and dynamic composition, showcasing Moriyama's signature aesthetic. The dog's presence evokes a sense of loneliness and alienation, while also serving as a metaphor for the marginalized and forgotten individuals within the urban landscape. Daido Moriyama continues to be active as a photographer today. Despite being in his mid-80s, he maintains a prolific output and is widely regarded as one of the most influential photographers of his generation. Moriyama's work continues to explore the urban landscape and the human condition capturing the essence of modern life through his distinctive black and white imagery. He has used various cameras throughout his career, but he is particularly associated with compact and portable 35 millimeter film cameras. One of his most famous cameras is the compact film camera, the Yashica T4, which he used extensively during the 1990s and early 2000s. The camera's simplicity and reliability allowed him to capture spontaneous moments with speed and agility, contributing to his distinctive style. In addition to the Yashica T4, he has also used other compact 35mm film cameras, such as various models from the Olympus XA series and Ricoh GR series. These cameras share similar characteristics with the Yashica T4, including compact size, sharp lenses, and ease of use, making them popular choices among street photographers. While Moriyama is primarily known for his work with 35mm film cameras, he has also experimented with other formats and techniques throughout his career, including medium format and digital photography. His photography remains relevant and influential in contemporary art circles, and he continues to exhibit his work internationally. He has also published numerous books showcasing his photographs, ensuring that his legacy endures and his impact on the world of photography continues to be felt by new generations of artists and enthusiasts alike. Moriyama's work is distinctively his own, reflecting his unique vision and perspective. He encourages photographers to develop their own personal style and to cultivate a voice that is authentic and true to themselves. 
Moriyama's advice on the importance of trusting your instincts as a photographer. Instead of overthinking or overplanning, he encourages artists to follow their intuition and capture moments as they unfold. Naturally. Vivian Meyer was known to be a meticulous photographer, who took thousands of photographs but rarely shared them with others. Her work remained largely unknown during her lifetime. She did not receive recognition as a photographer until after her death. Meyer's decision not to show her work during her lifetime remains largely speculative, as she was a very private person and left little information about her motivations. She worked primarily as a nanny, a profession that allowed her to support herself financially while maintaining a degree of autonomy and privacy. Some speculate that she viewed photography as a deeply personal form of expression or documentation, rather than as a means of public recognition or validation. Meyer had an innate sense of composition, which is evident in the carefully framed and balanced images she captured. Whether she was photographing a bustling city street or a quiet moment of solitude, Meyer had a knack for arranging elements within the frame to create visually compelling compositions. Meyer had an innate sense of composition, which is evident in the carefully framed and balanced images she captured. One of Meyer's greatest strengths as a photographer was her impeccable timing. She had a remarkable ability to anticipate decisive moments and capture them with precision and clarity. Whether it was a fleeting expression, a serendipitous encounter, or a play of light and shadow, Meyer had a keen eye for capturing moments that revealed the essence of her subjects and surroundings. Perhaps most importantly, Meyer's photographic eye was guided by a deep sense of empathy and curiosity about the world around her. She approached her subjects with warmth and understanding, capturing moments of vulnerability, resilience, and humanity with sensitivity and compassion. She had a talent for finding beauty and meaning in the ordinary and the everyday, often focusing her lens on scenes and subjects that others might overlook. In 1956, Meyer purchased her first color roll film, Kodachrome, which was a popular choice among amateur and professional photographers at the time. Some of her color photographs have surfaced in her extensive collection of negatives, offering glimpses of her experimentation with color. These color images, while fewer in number compared to her black and white work, showcase Meyer's ability to capture moments with a different aesthetic. They often possess a vibrant and nostalgic quality imbuing her subjects with a sense of life and immediacy. Meyer's exploration of color photography adds another dimension to her body of work, demonstrating her versatility as a photographer and her willingness to experiment with different techniques and mediums. While she was primarily recognized for her captivating images of everyday people, she also occasionally turned the lens on herself, offering glimpses into her own world. Meyer's self-portraits are intriguing because they provide a rare insight into the artist behind the camera. In these images, we see not only her physical appearance but also hints of her personality and the way she viewed herself within the context of her surroundings. Some of her self-portraits are straightforward depictions, while others incorporate reflections, shadows, and other creative elements that add layers of complexity to the images. What's fascinating about Meyer's self-portraits is the sense of mystery that often surrounds them. She was a private person who lived much of her life in relative obscurity, and her self-portraits offer tantalizing glimpses into her inner world while leaving much to the imagination. They invite viewers to speculate about the woman behind the camera and to ponder the stories and experiences that shaped her life and her art. Meyer's work has contributed to her status as one of the most celebrated street photographers of the 20th century.
Her candid street photography style has inspired many photographers to document the ordinary moments and people they encounter in their own communities. Her story has resonated with many people. And her status as an outsider artist, who created art for its own sake, rather than for commercial or critical acclaim, has inspired other photographers to follow their creative instincts and pursue their passion for photography regardless of external validation. Overall, Vivian Meyer's influence on contemporary photography is profound and multifaceted. Despite her work remaining largely unknown during her lifetime, the discovery of her vast archive of photographs after her death sparked widespread interest and acclaim, leading to exhibitions, documentaries, and books that have introduced her work to audiences around the world.